Hello guys, my name is Alejandra and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It's so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my quick five minute makeup and this makeup is very, very simple and also I'm going to be showing you guys some helpful tips on how I cover my blemishes if I have any during that week. It's in a very simple and quick way that I do it. So if you're interested in this makeup look or if you're interested on certain tips on how I cover my blemishes, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing that you see when you look at my face right now, obviously, is this pimple right here and this one right here. We're going to try to cover these up. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys my five minute makeup look and how I cover any pimples, any acne that I have during that day, during that week or whatever it may be. So these are the stars of the show for today. So I'm obviously going to start off with moisturizer. We always want to make sure that our face is moisturized because we do not want our face to not be moisturized so i'm just gonna put this all over my face as you can see like i'm home and i was going to record more videos while i was home but listen to this i literally got sick from who knows what and i haven't been able to get up from bed in the past two days so then i'm just going to do my eyebrows like every single day you guys know that i use this morphe palette and i use one of the shades in here i do like using an eyeshadow i used to use a pomade but whenever it's a five minute quick makeup look i love to use eyeshadow because it's much easier to blend out and it's easier to do your eyebrows that way So after I have finished my eyebrows, as you can see, it didn't take me long at all. I'm going to be grabbing this brush and my favorite, favorite concealer, which is the Too Faced Born This Way, and I'm going to be cleaning up my eyebrows. I'm going to be putting on this concealer, the same one that I used to conceal my eyebrows. Okay, so we're just going to put this on our actual pimples that we have and then underneath our eyes, over our, sorry if you can hear my mom. And then we are going to blend this out on all the places that I have put my concealer. Right where I put the um, foundation on the pimple, I'm just going to pat i'm not going to smear like i do on this side i'm just going to simply pat because that is going to make sure that it's concealing the actual pimple itself and it will not peek out through and then we are just going to keep blending and then once again right here we are going to pat and then we are going to blend this out as well to be careful to not mess up the eyebrows. The next step is we're going to be taking our MAC Mineralize Powder and we are just going to be setting this all over our face just to make sure that um, our concealer slash foundation is staying on all day and I never ever skip this step. This is a must. You always have to set your concealer, your foundation with whatever or else it's just going to smear off. So then we're going to put this all over our face and on our actual pimples we're going to make sure to go extra with it because we want to make sure that they're covered. So then that's it for that and then I'm going to be using my Kat Von D palette. You guys know I've had this for the longest time. And then we're going to be grabbing this shade in here and we're going to be contouring. And you know that I always like to suck in my cheeks. And I just place that product in the hollows of my cheeks and then I just blend that out. And then I'm just going to be grabbing a little bit more of that and then placing it on the bottom of my nose. And then I bring it up to the bridge. Just on the sides is what I like to get at. 
this basically just adds color back to my face because if I didn't have this on, my face would be very, very pale. So this kind of just is contouring, but it's also adding color and it's just bronzing. So we're just going to put that on our face. And then guys, after I have done that, and I'm going to go back in with my concealer and I'm going to go over the blemishes one last time. So I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm just going to tap on the actual blemish and then go above and tap as well. And as you can tell, you can't see the pimples. You can see the texture of it, but the texture is just going to be part of life. Pimples are going to come, pimples are going to go. So, and then I'm going to move on to blush. I like to use this Milani blush in the shade Luminoso and this angled brush. And then I just put this on the high points of my cheeks. And I do go kind of crazy with this, but it's just because this blush is super natural and it looks super pretty and the reason why i like this a lot is because it has like a built-in highlighter so whenever you put on this blush it's also highlighting and you don't have to put any extra highlighter it's just saving some steps and i really like this one guys for my eyes this is the simplest trick in the world and i just take my ring finger once again and i grab a shade in my palette and i'm just going to be putting this all over my eyelid just like this and i usually tend to go with like a brown shade then i'm going to go in to the other eye and do the exact same thing just add that color in my eye and blend it in with my finger okay so then after i have done that this is what my eyeshadow ends up looking like and then i'm going to be grabbing one of the one of the shimmer shades in this palette that looks like this and i'm going to grab that with my pinky I just put that color on the inside. You add this color to your eyes, as you can tell, it kind of opens your eyes and it makes it look like you're more put together. Even though that literally takes one second, you just dip your finger and place it in your inner corners. Okay guys, so the last thing that I do is I put on some lip gloss so guys, yeah, that is going to be it for my five minute makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you guys got some helpful tips from it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.